Oprah's willingness to discuss her weight and diet goals is just one of the reasons many find her so relatable. So what does Oprah really eat? And is it as relatable and inspiring as we're guessing it probably is? Let's find out. Oprah Winfrey eats plenty of fruits. She considers them to be good fuel for the body, saying on her website that she is, quote, passionate about breakfast, listing some of the fruits she chooses to start her day with. Her favorites include strawberries, passion fruit, blueberries, raspberries, and bananas. Often served in smoothies or with breakfast staples like pancakes, oatmeal, quinoa, and baked goods. Oprah's high opinion of fruit has a sound basis in science. Fruits and vegetables have been shown to not only be diet-friendly foods, but can also work as preventative medicines. People who eat an average of eight or more servings of fruit and vegetables each day have a significantly reduced risk of having a heart attack or stroke. Citrus fruits are especially beneficial. Other health benefits of eating a lot of fruit include a reduced risk of heart disease, lower blood pressure, and lower risks of other illnesses, including diabetes and digestive issues. It looks like Oprah is putting plenty of good fuel into her body, which will likely help her live a long, healthy life. Even those who pay no attention to Oprah and her food journey know this little tidbit. It's the one fact that makes her more relatable than anything else. Oprah's love for bread has become infamous, thanks to a Weight Watchers commercial in which the talk show host professes her love for it. This is the joy for me. I love bread. I love bread. She told Us Weekly that she has a weakness for bread, particularly what she described as a seeded bread from South Africa, and that she has even been known to bring her own bread to hotels, asking the hotel staff to toast it for her. Now that's bread love! At breakfast, Oprah says that her bread preference is multi-grain and double-toasted. Bread is often viewed as a high-carb food that should be avoided when you're trying to lose weight. But a little bread won't hurt you. Women's Health pointed out that there are a lot of foods we think of as healthy, like apples and soy milk, that have even more carbs than a slice of bread. So if you love bread like Oprah does, toast away! Oprah is a big fan of seafood. Telling today, seafood is your friend. Her favorite fish is barramundi, which is not readily available in the U.S., so she often substitutes it with the more common cod. Also on her list of go-to fish are salmon and Chilean sea bass, although she says she doesn't eat them as often as they are higher in fat. Another seafood she frequently eats is shrimp, which may seem like a decadent indulgence. But there's a good reason for Oprah including shrimp in her diet. Although many people think that shrimp are unhealthy because their cholesterol content is higher than some other seafood choices, they're actually much healthier than you might think, since it's still low in saturated fat and total fat. As long as you're not eating it fried or with a heavy sauce, shrimp is a pretty healthy choice, and always a smarter choice than a greasy burger. Pasta is another delicious food that people tend to avoid when they are trying to eat healthy. But Oprah finds healthy ways of incorporating it into her diet. For example, she's a huge fan of making some sneaky swaps, like making meatballs with eggplant. Oprah loves her pasta and has a brilliant and sneaky way of making herself think she's eating more of it. Squash and zucchini pasta are alternatives that are often used when people are cutting back on carbs. But there is definitely a difference in taste and texture between squash and actual pasta. In order to get around those differences, Oprah adds something extra to her spaghetti squash. She mixes a bit of real pasta in with the veggie pasta. This mixture still provides a healthier alternative to pure pasta, but it also tastes more like the real deal than plain spaghetti squash. Oprah's mix and switch alternative isn't just reserved for pasta. She also uses a similar technique on mashed potatoes. Potatoes are full of carbs, meaning that though they are delicious, they aren't usually the healthiest option for those looking to cut back. Oprah doesn't let that stop her from enjoying the food, though. One night I was just sitting at dinner, I was eating some whipped cauliflower, trying to pretend they were mashed potatoes, and I thought, what if you actually added the cauliflower into the potatoes? Instead of completely eliminating mashed potatoes from her diet, Oprah uses mashed cauliflower, a common alternative to mashed potatoes. Of course, Oprah doesn't stop there. She has a truly ingenious secret to making the cauliflower even tastier. She told Today she combines one head of cauliflower with one potato, which she says serves six to eight people. The result is a healthy alternative that tastes just as creamy as regular mashed potatoes. Oprah mixes up the side dish for her dinner guests, but also made her mashed potatoes with cauliflower available as part of her frozen food line, Oh That's Good. Who knew that Oprah was such a culinary genius? 
When Oprah is in the mood for a snack, she tries to choose a healthy option that will indulge her craving without being unhealthy. One of her favorite healthy snack options is a root vegetable you may have never heard of, called jicama. She revealed during a Weight Watchers members call that she's a huge fan of this obscure veggie because it satisfies that craving for something crunchy. And we can all relate to that. In addition to being crunchy, the veggie also has a sweet and nutty taste, making it ideal for snacking and a great replacement for chips. Jicama, which is also called yam bean, Mexican turnip, and Mexican potato, is native to Mexico. It's a root vegetable with brown skin that does look a bit like a potato, but it's something very different. The vegetable can be cooked while retaining its crisp or eaten raw for extra crunch. Adult men are made up of as much as 60% water, and because our bodies are made up of so much of it, water is an essential part of a healthy diet, not to mention necessary for survival. How much a person needs to drink varies a bit based on the individual and on their environment, but the bottom line remains the same. Water is important. Water is especially good to drink for those looking to avoid fat and sugar, since it's calorie-free. In spite of all this, Oprah is not a fan and said that she, quote, doesn't really like water. That's a surprising comment coming from someone with such a commitment to a healthy diet. But let's be honest, water can be pretty boring. Oprah does her best to drink as much water as possible, although she searches for different ways to make it more appealing to her taste buds. She has tried fruit-infused water, which she didn't like. She has also tried to flavor her water with ginger and vanilla in the hopes that it will encourage her to drink more. Oprah may hate water, but she loves hot drinks like tea and cappuccino. She brews herself a cup of one of these beverages daily and uses the time her drink takes to brew to get mentally prepared for the day. While waiting for her drink, Oprah reads inspirational quotes. She told Hollywood Reporter, When I'm standing in the kitchen and waiting on my tea to brew, I'll read one quote for every minute it takes to finish brewing, everything from Gandhi to Thoreau. She also enjoys visiting Starbucks. You'd think that someone as famous as Oprah would immediately be recognized and walk out of the shop with her name correctly spelled on her cup. But it turns out that this isn't the case. Oprah revealed to E! News that she had to spell her name out on a coffee run, saying, Oh my god, I just went two days ago. And the woman said, Name? And I said, Oprah. And she said, How do you spell that? At least you now know that it's not just your name they managed to get wrong. It happens to even their most famous customers. Oprah also enjoys the occasional adult beverage. There are some good reasons to avoid drinking too much alcohol, aside from not wanting to deal with a nasty hangover the next morning. Alcoholic beverages aren't exactly healthy. They tend to be high in calories, so drinking on a regular basis can wreak havoc on a healthy diet. Alcoholic drinks aren't all bad, though, and they're okay to indulge in on occasion as part of a balanced diet. Moderate alcohol consumption even has some health benefits. According to the Mayo Clinic, drinking alcohol in moderation could lower the risk of heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. Oprah doesn't break her Weight Watchers diet to drink, but instead is careful about what she eats on the day she chooses to partake in an adult drink. She told Us Weekly that as a part of her diet, she saves her splurge points so that she can indulge in a glass of wine or some shots of tequila. Oprah's love of gift-giving is legendary. Over the years, she has given quite generously to her audiences, surprising them with vacations, cash, and even cars. Her neighbors are regular receivers of Oprah's generosity, too, although what they get isn't quite as exciting as a trip to Disney World or a Volkswagen Beetle. Still, who can say no to freshly grown vegetables, especially knowing how good they are for you? Regularly eating vegetables has several health benefits and can reduce the risk of heart disease, lower your blood pressure, and may even prevent certain cancers. The biggest benefit comes from eating a wide variety of vegetables as part of a healthy diet. Oprah takes advantage of all the nutrients and veggies by eating plenty of them and grows her own in her garden so she can always have fresh produce on hand. She sometimes ends up with more than she needs, which is when she spreads the wealth by distributing the extras to her lucky neighbors. Oprah is nuts about nuts, incorporating lots of them into her daily diet. In 2007, she kept a food diary for seven days, which she shared on her website. Over the course of a week, she ate nuts most days, finding creative ways of working them into her meals. On the first day, she had a handful of almonds with her breakfast. On day two, she topped off her mid-morning snack of yogurt with some chopped almonds. In the following days, she munched on walnuts, had some almonds with her breakfast, and cashews as a snack, and opted for some trail mix at dinner, which likely had nuts in it. On day seven, the last of Oprah's log, she had chopped walnuts as part of her lunch. Who knew that a simple snack food could have so many uses? 
If there is one thing we can all learn from what Oprah Winfrey eats, it's that healthy eating doesn't have to be boring. In fact, if you're doing it right, it shouldn't be boring at all. We often associate healthy eating and diets with sacrifice and assume that we have to give up things we love to reap the benefits. This is why typical diets don't usually work in the long run. The solution is to eat what you want in moderation and to allow yourself to indulge once in a while, a theory that many of us, including Oprah, can get behind. Even Oprah really lets loose at least once a year, throwing out her carefully regulated eating plan on her birthday. That one day of the year is reserved for indulging her cravings. She said in her cookbook Food, Health, and Happiness, I don't do it often, and I never do it mindlessly. The goal is to make my indulgences intentional. I plan for decadence. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite food stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.